this is gonna be funny to say, but probably Princess Diaries. <laughs> I was like, wow, life can change in a flip of a dime. <laughs> Which movie gave you nightmares? Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday mm -hmm. the 13th, The Shining. Yeah, those are definitely the top, top nightmares right there. And how do you feel about oh, and it? That? I can't forget oh. it. It. I, I'm terrified of clowns, so that that got me. It's valid fear. How do you feel about the fact that you are now responsible for giving people nightmares? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm truly sorry. <laughs> go go watch anyone but you afterwards and then you'll be happy again. <laughs> now, which movie makes you laugh until your face hurts? I'm a romantic comedy kind of girl. So like my best friend's wedding. I love Crazy Rich Asians, 13 going on 30. And is there a particular scene from any of those that, that gets you, that makes you chuckle? I will forever remember from Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> And she goes, uh, she's like, buck, buck, bitch. And I don't know, it's just, it makes me laugh every single time. This is a classic line. <laughs> I feel like Immaculate had a couple of lines in it that I wasn't expecting. A couple of like little sweary moments that took me by surprise. I like, I always like sprinkling in some, some grounded humor in characters. I think it's good to have a little bit of uh, levity in the entire experience. It worked really, really well. Next question, what is your go-to comfort film? Maybe when you're sick or you just need to take your brain out of the day? I turn to more of like mindless TV. So I'll turn on HTV or I binge SVU to go to bed. Okay, um, what is SVU for the, for the English people who are clueless? It's Law and Order SVU. It's been okay. on for like 20 something seasons and I've watched every episode. <laughs> Okay, so you low-key know quite a lot about um, the law and how you can get <laughs> out of things, is that correct? Um, it's, 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 I don't, I don't know how to describe if it's more about the law. Just bad things happen to people. I have to ask, also, because you are now, I mean, you've done so many genres, but now you've thrown horror in there as well. Are you someone who is comforted by watching horror? Because it's like, well, nothing that bad's gonna happen in real life. <laughs> No, I still get scared. I definitely still get scared when I see horror films. Has it been comforting kind of going behind the scenes? Does it make it less scary knowing how they work from the inside? I can still watch movies and enjoy as a viewer. I still jump and, and want to hide behind my hands, but I understand how they might have shot it, but I still allow myself to thoroughly enjoy it. What is a movie that always hits you right in the feels, makes you shed a tear? Titanic. It's, I just, I love Titanic. I've seen that movie so many times. When did you first watch it? I had been maybe 10 or 11. I was pretty, I was pretty young. I do feel like if Titanic doesn't get to you, then there's, there's something going on in your soul that isn't quite right. It's an amazing film. It really is. Although I don't recommend, I used to do this when I was a kid. Whenever there was a water moment, I used to hold my breath. Just to, <laughs> just to see if you could hold your breath as long? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It works. Yeah, no, um, no, Titanic is such one of my favorite movies that we then put a fun Titanic reference in Anyone But You because of it. Oh, that's very sweet. Okay, which movie first made you obsessed with horror? It's so hard to pinpoint one specific one because I really love The Exorcist. I love The Shining. I think like all of John Carpenter's old films, The Thing, Halloween. My, my dad made sure that I was, I was watching all the good ones, so. Is this also around the same age that you were watching Titanic or are we talking a bit later? Oh no, it's the same age. I was, I was, I was, I was a little too young to be watching these films. <laughs> is there a movie that made you look at life differently? <laughs> this is gonna be funny to say, but probably Princess Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Mia through th th <laughs> Yes. I was like, wow, life can change in a flip of a dime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one minute you're just a normal teenager and then... The next year, a princess. I was like, wow, life, life is, life can be a roller coaster. <laughs> I mean, I was about to ask, does part of you still feel like you're about to get that princess moment? But I feel like you've, you've had it. Like you are, you, you've had your come up. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite a homebody, so I never really feel it or experience it much. But I'm definitely just really just grateful and and happy to be able to play the characters that I do. 
Is there a movie that makes you feel particularly nostalgic? There's a few. Between Fan of the Opera, um, Pride and Prejudice. I really loved, this is a movie, it's a series, but like Little House on the Prairie. I always feel like I'm putting myself in one of the characters and getting to experience that world through them. Oh, have, have you done much a period drama kind of stuff before? No, I, I recently just did uh, one, it's like 1930s, 40s with Ron Howard and got to feel a bit of it, but it's such a, a secluded story because we're on an abandoned island and so I didn't get to fully immerse myself in a world that is in the past, but I really hope I get to one day. Oh, no doubt you will. And, and if you had to choose an ideal era that you would want to go back and play, which oh would Oh my be? gosh. I don't know, there's, there's so many. The, it's, the costumes excite me. Like, there's so many possibilities, whether it's like in the 18th century or you go back to the Roaring Twenties. Like, there's a lot of fun costumes that you could play with.